our post pounder did not work to get those in. And so we are moving on to our new plan. I'm calling it plan C. Concrete. Clever, huh? You are a clever girl. <laughs> in order to get this done, we now have to change gears a little bit, change augers a little bit, and dig a little deeper. Yep. Six foot holes, two foot wide, fill it with concrete. Here we go. We've got two new holes to dig, and then the rest of them we need to widen and deepen. Got to get a good level start. Hope that you don't hit rocks. That didn't take long. That did not take long. It's going to be a long day, isn't it? All those little white pieces are limestone. So much rock. He's moving on to the other one. Hopefully we'll have better luck with that one. Much better. It's so hit or miss whether you hit the rocks or not. To finish up the rest of the holes, we're bringing in a ringer. A carbide tip auger. Got to get through these rocks. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Now that's a tool. I shall name the Ripper. <laughs> Ready? Go ahead. I see nothing. Don't cut Ripper up yet. <laughs> we got to our six foot mark. Because of Ripper. <laughs> well done, Ripper. Yeah. Moving on. Cleanup of hole number two was a breeze. Ripper. <laughs> Can you see what looks like smoke coming out of there? It's not actually smoke. It's limestone powder, I believe. We're losing light. I don't know. We might try and get one or two more holes in tonight. We'll see. But in the meantime, more tomorrow. We got all the holes dug. Six feet deep, and we put some stone down on the bottom. So next up, we're ready to prep the mounts. The goal here with this laser level is to make sure that all of the posts line up so that they are exact same height above the ground. That is correct. You hear them? Yeah. Those are sand hill cranes. Okay, so now can we get going again? <laughs> that was pretty good. Thanks. All the posts are measured with the exception of that one last trouble one. That's a mud pit. It is full of gunk and we can't figure out how to clean it out. So we will work on that tomorrow. First time using a bandsaw. Yeah, it's not so scary. It's not so, it looks kind of scary to me. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. We've got eight, nine posts to cut today. First post is cut. Easy peasy. I did that for effect. Yeah, I see you let go. <laughs> Eight more to go. Oh, there's a bonus. Looks like the last couple trees are coming down. That was the last cut of the day. That was the last cut of the day. I gotta say, that bandsaw did a really good job. Harbor Freight! <laughs> this is exciting. We're finally putting the post into the holes. Yeah. Every little step helps. Shall I help too? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> we got six of the posts in. The three over here can't go in yet because first you need a trench. Hopefully more tomorrow. Today is trench day. 
this is the path of the PVC conduit that is going to house all the wires that go from all of the solar arrays into our garage. The choice has been made. Get to work. It's trench time. Our code requires us to dig down at least 18 inches to lay this pipe. I'm sure glad we don't have to do this by hand. Well, that didn't last very long. Looks like we are leaking hydraulic fluid. Oh, this job is just one thing after another. Everything breaks. He is off to the repair shop, so that means, hopefully, more tomorrow. Kudos to our local hydraulic repair store, man. They took it last night, right before closing, and it was done this morning. Yep. Yay for small town living. Can't beat that. It looks like we are back in business. Now, just like 120 more feet to go. No prob. We made the first turn. Now it's a straight shot to the first hole. Tools are great as long as they're working. It's not at the moment. <laughs> and we got the wave. <laughs> Way to not give up. I think you got it. Could we have any more things <laughs> to slow us down? You have about 10 more minutes of light. Well, 10 minutes of daylight might have been a little bit of a generous estimate. Still working. Brian made it to the first hole with the first trench, and so that means we have two to go. We went ahead and ordered the concrete truck to come in four days time. So we are now fully committed to getting all of this trenched, set up, and inspected before then. Nice to see that excavator working as intended. Mostly straight, mostly level. They look good. Yeah, I'm happy. Thumbs up for your excavator. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> so after lunch, we'll come back and we're going to start locking in these posts. Yes. That turned out really good. I'm happy with it. Keep going. Yep. I'm glad we spent the night and got the rest of these stakes up. Whew. Okay, today's conduit day. Yeah. There's what the initial line looks like so far. He's got the first run in to the first ground mount. All of this is just a dry fit, just to make sure he's got it perfect. With that cut, that makes segment number two complete. Yes. So far, so good. Line number three is in as much as we can. Next up, you're putting schedule 80, and that's the stuff that's gonna stick out of the concrete and go up along the post. It's weed whacker resistant and much stronger against UV. And because code says so. Yes. And we do what code says. Kind of have to. <laughs> Turns out it's too cold to put that glue on to finish tying all these together. Got to yeah. wait for the warm up. In the meantime, we're going to see if we can figure out how to fix this connection point to the garage. Almost there. A little bit more to go. You're using the hammer drill to chisel through this concrete and I think you pretty much got it. Harbor Freight! That'll work. A nice connection against the garage and then down into the trench. 
Now it just needs to warm up enough so you can glue it all together. That won't be for two days. <laughs> We've got our work cut out for us today. We've, We've got, got a lot to do to get this all set up and ready for inspection tomorrow. What's first? We gotta get the copper grounding wire uh, run the whole length. It's gonna be a good day. The copper wire is going through that hole and go all the way up to the top. We're in business. All right. I will feed you. Let's get this last copper wire through. We can start gluing. We reached the magical 40 degree mark. It's 42. Let's get her done. That is some very blue glue. One down, about mm, 15 more to go. Um, the last piece is glued. Finally. Next up is grounding. We're putting in two grounding rods with your handy dandy hammer drill. <laughs> That's working. Let's hope he doesn't hit a rock. Uh-oh. Yes. All right, below grade, we're yep. done. So now you're just connecting the main copper line with the ground rod. The last grounding step for today, anyway, yep. is to connect the copper wire to the ground mount. All right, first H tap is done. Two more to go. Next up, securing the conduit to the post. With more than just duct tape. Oh, that's an easy step. Yeah, nice little self-tapping screw. I like easy steps. Me too. Okay. The final connection is made to the garage. And that means that all the EMT is done and ready for inspection. Now we wait. More, hopefully, tomorrow. We got good news today. We are all squared away with our inspection. Hooray! That means you can move forward and start filling in this trench. Yes. Get to it. Today was a good day and tomorrow is going to be an even better day. As long as the rain holds out. Concrete's a-coming. More tomorrow. The concrete truck is on its way. Not far now. Are you excited? I don't know, I'm more, more nervous because there's so much to do. <laughs> Nine holes, we got this. Yeah, we got this. It, 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 it'll be fine. It'll be fine. The truck is here. Here we go. The first hole is getting its concrete. We're hoping we ordered the correct amount. I guess we're going to find out soon. Did it stay level? Yeah. Nice to hear that the bracing has worked. Hole number one is complete. Yeah. One down, eight to go. That is hole number four. So far, so good. This is hole number nine, our trouble hole. This was the original post that we tried with our pounder that got all wonky. So there's a little bit of space in there. We're gonna try and get the concrete in. Unfortunately, the skid steer had to be used to try and level the post. <laughs> Hopefully it'll stay sort of straight and the concrete will be able to sneak in around. Think this will work? Hope so. <laughs> I'm done. The truck is gone. Now we're smoothing things out, and I'm calling this a success. That went as about as well as we could have hoped. We did have one blowout. 
<laughs> we forgot to pump the water out of this one. And you can see what happens. It'll be fine! <laughs> that was a lot. This was good. Yes. Still can't take our foot off the gas. We have work to do. Stay tuned while we finish assembling these ground mounds. In the meantime, thanks for watching. P.S. You can't have concrete without making your mark. If you enjoy our videos, we'd really appreciate it if you would take a second and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. And until next time, like our farm sign says, just keep growing.